This is a wire rope vibration isolator that uses 1 16th inch steel cable and carbon plates to sandwich them together. They work very well for dampening vibrations from cameras of all sizes. For larger cameras such as a DSLR, use multiple. For smaller cameras like a GoPro, one will work fine. To test them I installed one on a wooden stick and hung the GoPro underneath. The motor on top has a bent shaft and vibrates a ton when spun up. This first test is with no vibration isolators. The camera is mounted directly to the wooden arm. As you can see, the video is terrible. In this next test, the camera is suspended by four earplugs. There's a little jello in the video, but nothing too terrible. The main problem with these is that they get really stiff in the cold air and stop working very well. Next, the camera is suspended by four of those rubber balls that came with a brushless gimbal. They work about as well as the earplugs. Next up, the wire rope isolator. As you can see, it filters out vibration better than any other material. There was very little or no jello in the video. Now to test it out in the air. I mounted one on the front of my Sport Quad V3 frame and suspended the T2D GoPro gimbal from that. I removed the rubber ball dampeners that come on the T2D and replaced them with wood so the wire rope was the only thing isolating vibration. I also installed these popsicle sticks with earplugs to help hold the gimbal steady. They are not supporting any weight, they are just there for stability. Once in the air, they work extremely well. Here's some more footage. Next I hung the Canon 6D and a brushless gimbal from four wire rope isolators that were hung under my octocopter. Rubber bands were stretched between the gap to support the weight of the camera. This way, the isolators experienced no compression or separation. If the weight of the camera was pulling them apart, they would not be as soft and work less effectively. Upon takeoff, it's obvious there is no vibration at all. If you are using just one isolator to support something like a GoPro, the weight acts like a pendulum and causes instability. I recommend using something to stabilize it, like cotton string or foam. These do not need to support any weight, only gently hold the isolated structure from jiggling around too much. If you are using a heavier camera, you can either hang the weight from the isolators or use the weight to compress them. If you are hanging the camera, use something like elastic bands to pull the weight back up. If it's configured for compression, do the same, unless the isolators are naturally compressed a healthy amount. These kits are available for purchase on my website. See the link in the description for more info. Thanks for watching. Bye.